Hello my friends, today I am here in Macedonia, it's a beautiful weather here and uh, today I am going to talk about a very deadly disease of, of nowadays. I would call it nowadays because uh, it was there since centuries, many old time but still the incidence is increasing nowadays. It is the silent killer, killer called diabetes. Diabetes is spreading like an epidemic in Europe, in America, in India, everywhere in the world. People are suffering from diabetes and uh, a lot, a lot of cases, so many cases are coming up, especially in the younger ages, even in the 40s and 30s. In Ayurveda, it is explained that sedentary lifestyle is a major cause. In this verse, ancient verse of Charak Samhita, there is written, Asya Sukham Swapna Sukham Gramya Odak Dabhini Gramya Odak Anuprasa Payasi Navan Param Gud Vakritam Cha Pramehatu Kaf Krit Sarvam That means, the translation of this says that Asya Sukham is when you are sleeping during the daytime. Asya Sukham, all the time sitting on a comfortable sofa, not moving out. Swapna Sukham is also taking dreams during the daytime, just not working. And Gramya Odak Anuprasa Pyasi, you are drinking different, different uh, juices, different, too much drinking of different flavored syrups and juices and drinks like Coca Cola and nowadays. There are so many. And the Dini, milk and milk products. Even in ancient time, ancient time, the Charak Sainta suggests the Dini, the yogurt the milk, the cheese, all these milk and milk products should not be taken in too much quantity. And uh, sedentary lifestyle as I have already told you, what actually happens in diabetes? We have uh, in our body, there is a, a machine called pancreas. There is our organ, very beautiful organ, pancreas here. And when we eat the food, the brain tells the food is coming and the pancreas starts making insulin. Insulin is the key to put the glucose inside the cells. When the when we eat food, it is converted into glucose by liver and when the glucose level becomes higher in the blood, automatically insulin is there and it, it opens up the channels of the cells and the sugar levels they come down. This is normally what is happening inside the body. But in case of diabetes, when you eat too much food and you drink this, you drink that, you drink beer, alcohol, whiskey and then you eat too much yogurt, then you eat too much bread, so much of food and then your liver is making too, many, too much sugar and then your blood is having too much sugar and slowly slowly they drugs insulin resistance and then you are not able to to burn the calories and you, your cells are not able to move the glucose inside the cells. The only way to move the glucose inside the cells is to exercise so that you can make more insulin. Don't gain weight Obesity is the number one cause of diabetes, sedentary lifestyle and obesity. And what are the symptoms of diabetes? First of all, you should try to prevent it when you are younger, about 30 or 40. You try to prevent it by learning that you should do some exercise and stop all sugar, all type of sugar like juices and Coca-Cola and breads artificial food. People say that uh, I I'll just take only one glass or two glasses of juice, not more. That is not right. And you see how juice is made, it is a lot of sugar is put inside. And uh, what is the solution? Solution is walking every day you should walk for at least half an hour or one hour at least one hour and uh, there are certain home remedies like uh, 
fenugreek is there just take a two spoon full of fenugreek seeds just crush them and take the powder every day and you will see your sugar level coming down drastically you can also take black cumin seeds black cumin seed you crush the black cumin seed powder make the powder just take half teaspoon full, along with 1 teaspoon full of fenugreek if you don't have fenugreek you take black cumin seed if you don't have black cumin seed you take fennel fennel is available everywhere so just take once even after the meals you should take fennel that doesn't mean that if you are taking fennel then you should not exercise everything works together to fight diabetes it is not like that you just uh, take the fennel and yeah, then you don't exercise exercise is very important and uh, there are certain herbs like uh, green vegetables if you eat more vegetables less grains less uh, bread less carbohydrate refined sugar industrial sugar this is called industrial sugar made in the industry not made by god all fruits and all vegetables they have complex sugar in them they can be consumed like uh, all the fruits and all the vegetables peaches apples melons they have complex sugar in them fructose is there but uh, not the juices you just take an example from the animals animals they don't drink milk of other species animals they don't eat uh, sugar so you take they just move around they walk and they sleep well in time sleeping is also very important because it regulates your hormones and staying away from stress nowadays stressful the environment is there everybody is suffering from stress and stress causes the body to produce more cortisol another hormone from the kidneys which uh, it increases the sugar level from the muscles it just squeezes the muscles whenever you are in stress the muscles are squeezed the muscles are stretched to take out the stored sugar in them and all the sugar goes inside the blood just to fight the stress we need sugar so this is a temporary mechanism but you make it permanent by all the time thinking about different things and staying in a stressful environment that leads to diabetes so there are so many causes which you can prevent just by doing exercises and uh, one important thing to get rid of sugar or prevent sugar is or keep your sugar in control is breathing exercise if you are elderly you are having problem in your joints and you cannot move you can just deep do deep breathing just pranayam like this you can just sit like this and kapal bhati just throwing the just throwing the air out of your lungs forcefully and not inhaling forcefully the air inhalation is natural like this you see you are pushing your abdomen and throwing the air out and that burns the calories that burns the sugar and consume the sugar molecules break them and also a very useful in fatty liver and corrects the liver metabolism and deep breathing to give your cells enough oxygen just rast bastrika pranayam like this during the bastrika the lungs should expand the stomach should not expand some people they breathe they take the air in the abdomen take the air in the you see the abdomen going inside and lungs coming out so you feel
fill your body, your cells with energy, with vital force called prana, called oxygen. And whatever food you eat, first you think whether it's full of oxygen or not. When you take a fruit from the tree, it is full of oxygen. When you take fresh vegetable, it is full of oxygen. When you eat something natural, if you eat something artificial, it is not having prana, it is not having any oxygen. So it will take your oxygen, it will give you garbage, it will give you a, your body will have to process it, putting body's energy. Then you feel tired, you feel weakness. The first symptom of diabetes is you feel tiredness. When you are feeling undue tiredness because of any other reason, you feel I am going to have diabetes, you should go for you, f you should understand that it is very, it is enough now, I should go and make a routine and do some exercise. And other symptoms are like going to the toilet, urine, going to pass the urine I'm three, four times, five times, six times and more. And uh, excessive thirst when you feel like drinking, dry mouth when you feel like, when you are hungry, you feel more hungry. So these are various symptoms you should keep checking for diabetes if you are getting diabetes or not. You can go for glucose tolerance test or you can go for glycosylated HbA1c test. All these tests are there but before thinking about tests, my advice to you is go for changing your lifestyle and diet, regularizing your sleep. So, with this note, I want to thank all my viewers and I wish them health.